Yes, yes, it is yet another card layout for you. Number 74 this time. And I've gone for a very blue theme today. And the papers are coming from the North Star pad from first edition. A nice 6x6 six six collection, but I believe they also do it in 8x8 eight eight and 12x12. 12 12. So whatever size you're working at, hopefully you should be able to find a pattern that suits. Here are some of the other bits I will be using in this particular video. And also, here is the layout, the most important bit. So I've got a couple of ink pads, some dies, uh, obviously the patterned cardstock, some coloured cardstock to match. And then a couple of stamp sets. I'm only going to use the I Love You sentiment from that particular one, but then the big bear from the other one. Okay, let's get started by chopping down the papers first of all. Now this one, when I was planning it, did have various different um, embossing effects and edging effects and all sorts going on. But in the end, I kind of tried to keep it simple. The papers I'm chopping down according to the layout sizes, which, if you are just joining me, uh, are available as a free printable download from my blog. The layout also contains all of the measurements, uh, unlike the one you see me using, which is just my original draft sketch. There are also 73 other videos in this series, so please do make sure to watch those out and, of course, download the templates. Now I'm using the gridded ruler here to help me line up this first piece because that will be the crucial point for the top and bottom of the other two pieces. So it's quite important that this one goes down straight. Bookbinding glue as ever. Um, I mean 74 videos in and I've not changed that glue. It's still one of the best that I've used. Uh, it doesn't warp the papers and you need so little it goes a very long way. In fact, I really should have kept an idea of when I started using this, and then I could tell you. Oh well. Trust me, it goes a long way. Okay, that's the layout, so I'm just going to put that under something heavy to keep it flat while I work. And then on with the stamps. So the I love you sentiment, I'm going to stamp onto white card and then die cut. When I did my first impression, I think I put too much pressure on as the text was quite blotchy. So, just flip it over and do another one. And this time, perfect! I mean, I was quick with that, but trust me, it is. Positioning the tag die on there, and then just sticking it in place with a couple of bits of masking tape or low-tack tape. I never know where you are in the world. Do let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, so in England we call it masking tape. In other places it's low-tack tape. In uh, other regions it's decorator's tape. I mean, there's so many words, but it's all the same thing. I'm just die-cutting the bow from blue cardstock here. Just getting all the pieces sorted. And then now that the text has had time to dry, I'm die-cutting that as well. There you go. Right, now for the big bear. Now I had the idea of doing an ombre um, or shaded inking with this. So you will see me use a couple of different colours of blue. But midway I thought actually that's not really going to work very well. So I went over with the darker blue again just to really sort of make it an even tone across the whole image. It's nice, it looks nice, but I think what I wanted to do was just try it out with the black ink as well, just to see if that would make any difference. I can always use this, uh, the second one that I don't use, for another project. They're both nice, but I think the blue one is going to work better with the colour scheme that I've got going on. So chippy choppy with the massive fabric scissors, naughty naughty, and there we go. I've got my bear and baby bear. I'm going to raise this up with foam pads. So it's sitting proud of the card. 
It's always a good idea to give your focal point something different to the background. And that way it draws the eye. Ooh, it's very designy in here today, isn't it? Okay, now the bow is going to sit on there and the tag will basically be underneath it. But I thought it'd be nice to put a strip of gems up the side. Now, when I was measuring, I really wasn't paying that much attention. So, the strip is actually offset slightly. But that's fine. Just counting the gems there to make sure I've got enough before I start. <laughs> There's nothing worse than getting to the end and thinking, oh, I'm missing one. They did ping off a bit here and there, but I think I managed to wrestle with them quite well. And it's not the straightest of lines, but, you know, it's handmade. And I'm not a robot. Now, with the bow, normally I would assemble the bow before attaching it. But this time I went about it differently because I knew I wasn't going to use the central strip. So I stuck the tails down first, then shaped the, hmm, what do you call them, arms? No, not arms, that's ridiculous. Anyway, the bows of the bow. Stuck them together, as you see me doing on screen. I mean, I'm telling you this, but to be honest, you could, <laughs> you can see it. Um, anyway, sticking them down with a bit of that book binding glue again. To be honest, you could watch these with them with the sound off. Could you? You could, couldn't you? I don't know. Anyway, uh, a bit of a larger gem for the middle of that. And there we go. Bish bash bosh. Now, I was going to raise this up again. So basically the two elements that are key are raised. And it's almost like the bears are looking at the I love you bauble bow. But when I stuck that down, I thought mm, it doesn't quite work. So picked it off very carefully and then I decided to take out a couple of those gems and believe it or not they did actually come off with their adhesive on without ripping the cardstock so result I can reuse those in the future and there we go put it down finish it off job done thanks for watching that's it for this time if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And for more from me in the future, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.